Hello, ladies, gents, and cackling bitches! We return to the wonderful adventures in RimWorld. Let's find out what this falling monolith is all about. Let's send the slave to go investigate it. If something bad will happen, let the slave take the hit. Who the hell cares about him, right? That's what he's there for, to be a meat shield, to be a piece of trash, expendable and unimportant. All of these fellas are the highest echelon of society. This lowly piece of garbage. If you're going to get a mutation, if you're going to get a tentacle growing out of your butt, or perhaps a new head growing out of your shoulder, you're the one to take it. All right, that's a very short progress bar. I am glad that it's not going to be like a, one of those Arcotech kind of studying the thing. The monolith. Dark metallic surface is warm to the touch and fathead nerd thinks he can hear a faint hum emanating from inside. The lines on its dusty surface seem to squirm in unsettling patterns. Fathead nerd focuses on the shapes, trying to uncover their meaning. The hum strengthens. The shapes begin to flow in fathead head nerd's vision, but the surface isn't changing. Power begins to uncoil in the empty space all around. A black shape is forming his mind. Is a giant dildo. Why not focus on the dildo? I am not afraid. Some kind of amazing power up is happening though. Very dreadful. What the hell just happened? <laughs> the hell just happened? Let's just move on. As the monolith twisted and changed, Fathead Nerd was overcome with a horrifying vision. In an instant, he understood. The, um, the monolith is a doorway, just barely cracked open now. Something dark beyond imagination stirs on the other side, seeping into our reality. Terrified but excited, Fathead Nerd is convinced he can learn more if given the time to study the monolith in between beatings. Building category unlocked. Okay, well, all, all, the new content has been unlocked. You can now study the monolith and other entities to gain an anomaly research. You can adjust the percentage of major threats that will be anomaly related at any point in the storyteller settings. That's right, there was a patch. People were bitching about, hey, this DLC kind of takes over the game. Can I adjust that, please? <laughs> and the developers answered with, Hey, alright, that makes sense. You want to maybe not have all anomaly all the time. Maybe you want a bit of a mix in your gameplay, I understand. Alright, let's see. Activate the monolith. It's a conduit for psychic energy. Just barely cracked open now, blah, blah, blah. The monolith seems to be partly active and there seems to be no way to shut it down. To learn more, you must activate it further which we will require some special research. You need to discover seven basic tier entities. All right, some kind of, is it like an end game thing? Do you go into the void and embrace chaos, go into the real hell gate? Amazing, well, he's gathering all this bioferrite. I hope that I'm pronouncing that correctly. An exotic metal-like fibrous substance with both organic and metallic property. Properties bioferrite is produced by microscopic mechanites. Of course, a techno battle, nanites, nanotechnology, quantum quantum. The material is known to interact with some types of psychic flows. If pressurized under specific conditions, bioferrite becomes extremely flammable, making it a useful fuel. That's cool. That's cool. Let's check out this void monolith. Alright, it just grew in size, but it doesn't really give me any other description. You can just now toggle to study it. I see. What happens though? Can't attune monolith and discover entities. I see. We need to like discover entities, wherever those are. What else did you have in that message? This is new territory. We also have a gray Paul message, but I, I would like the the message you just gave me. You know, the quest message you just gave me. Maybe it was over here. Mm, no? 
they had, they had a bunch of useful links, you know, the anomaly project. Now we have an entire new tab of research. How do you research this stuff though? 10, it takes five of whatever it means. I don't know what it five means. Probably we'll find out very, very soon. Just research points. You can research void provocation. Psychic ritual spot, or you can do the bio bioferrite harvesting or the entity. How about entity containment? That sounds that sounds like the best choice. The first thing you gotta do is make sure that you have ways to contain these horrendous monstrosities in Mountains of Madness. Building holding platforms and inhibitors to better contain entities. Sure, sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's uh, put that research on. Whatever this will do. Okay, and the music changed. Now there's a gray pall, a blanket of gritty fog has descended on this area. The fog smells of ancient somehow, and it stings the skin. The unnatural grayness of it invo invokes a sense of dread. It's like walking into Mr. Burns' mansion. It just smells of old people. All right, let's uh, carry on forward and see what new horrors have been unleashed upon my person. Something I really did want to do. Since we have a giant pile of people, and we're doing pretty okay right now, open this ancient danger. See what might be found in there. Wonder if ancient dangers have been changed in any way or they are just completely uh, untouched. Because you would think an ancient danger would now be enhanced by the anomaly DLC. I doubt it though. Who were we trying to convert? That was just the geezer, right? No, no. We're done with all that. Is there but yeah, filthy heathen. That is the guy that we're trying to convert. Let's use that cooldown as soon as possible. Hike, go over there. Please, I just want you. Fine. Oh, I need just need to click on it. Yes, that will work. Thirty-seven percent certainty reduction. Can't believe it, Break Soul. I can't believe you're trapped in here. It's infection in her body, mother-in-law. It's terrible. Blargo. Or even... Uh, I, I, what are you even up to these days? Oh, you're still out there. That's right. I completely forgot. We had them traveling. I should have definitely <laughs> waited until they were back to study the freaking monolith. All right. They're back. Very nice. Unloading inventory. How about you first? How about you first? It's so dark, though. <laughs> I hope that it doesn't... It's not like a permanent thing. It's super dark. It will be pretty freaking annoying. Let's make sure that you tend to mother-in-law before you do anything else. All my beautiful mushrooms. This pleases me. I've scheduled the construction of the bajillion shelves over here. Seems like we have even more components to be found over there. Need to carve this out to create a giant toxic pack freezer. So many tasks still to be performed. So many things to do. Perhaps... It is a bad idea to go open that open that ancient danger area just yet. How about we let Blargo catch a breath? Unload his inventory. Nice. Tiro's Yeoman Ceremony, of course, because we are back in the good graces of the Empire. <laughs> Thank you for the uh, prospect of new psychic level levels. When I trap you in a stone tomb again, and I burn you to death again, it will 100% happen. These people are stupid as hell. How forgiving are you? The Empire is so idiotic. We're going to take a minute. Oh, you berserk, huh? Pretty sure that Break Soul will uh, put you in your place. Uh, he only has six melee. And this guy can probably bite his head off. Do we have... Banana can go in there and just punch you real good. Grave digger as well. Are you doing okay with health? Yeah, you do have an infection. Not not a not a fan of that. Let me just melee punch you real good. Break soul, you can put down this idiot in for the time being. You're doing nothing, huh? You're just standing there. I would rather grave digger was not punched. Okay, well done. <laughs> well done. We have dealt with this problem. What an absolute idiot. His uh, addiction to wake up. Were we trying to convert this idiot? Yeah, I guess I'm trying to do that. I guess because he has good intellect. Like he's he's 
look, he's good. He's a kind and psychically dull because he's a, a dog man. But he's a good colonist. That's why it's a, no uh, deeper meaning other than that. He seemed like a good prospective recruit. And now he has catharsis. He was so mad. He got punched in the head a few times. Got the madness punched out of him pretty good. Starvation on Ragman, huh? Well, why, why, though? Why are you starving? Seems like I immediately need holding platforms. It's like, am I about to be wrecked by whatever the hell I have unleashed? I have uh, lit a beacon upon my head. I do want these unstable power cells and I want uh, everything well installed. It just takes so much work to get everything done. I don't think I should do the ancient danger just yet. I am just not ready. The darkness, though, the darkness is driving me a little crazy. Let's create some some standing lamps. Obviously, they had to be wall lamps. Is is just not right. harbinger tree sprout. All right, well, that's that sounds interesting. That sounds like a good time. The harbinger tree has come to tell of my demise. Let me just put a whole bunch of lamps all over the hallways. It is so nice to have wall lamps by default now in the vanilla game. This shouldn't be there because I'll probably take them down. We should put them... We should put them right on the... That's a little too much. Cancel that. So many freaking lamps! We need some light though. The spacing, not the most optimal. Not the most symmetrical. May drive some people insane, the spacing of these lamps. Whatever, it don't matter. Ragman needs treatment though. Oh, because of stupid muscle parasites. All this stuff is going to be moved. We have a shield core that I had uh, completely forgotten about. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, the Harbigen sprout. What the hell is this? Harbigen trees have sprouted nearby. These gnarled trees grow flesh-like coverings and can feed on corpses and raw meat placed nearby. If well-fed, the grove will continue to grow. In a tribal myth, these trees are the emissaries of a shapeless god who rules an endless black ocean. The myth ends after the shapeless god reaches up from the water and tears down the sky. We have a tree. Okay. <laughs> Gnarl tree that grows a flesh-like covering. Harbigen trees are capable of feeding on carbs and raw meat. Blah, 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 blah. Entity Codex. I see. Oh, there's a new dialogue. Undiscovered entities. The void monolith is right here. The Harbinger tree. But what does it... Like, why would I be interested in making this Harbinger tree grow? Because of the... Like, they, are, they produce some kind of disgusting eldritch fruit? Is that what they do? Crease corpse file, huh? Sure, I, I guess. But, I mean, I am very fond of my corpses. What kind of storage do you want in here? How about we just make the, the rotten stuff? Just bring it over here. Anything rotten? Bring it over here. Feed the trees. I'm sure they'll be very happy. To get the flesh right into its sap. All right. Got all these mushrooms. This pleases me greatly. So nice. The darkness, though, is uh, casting quite the gloom upon my colony. It was such a happy, fun time of a place. Now we are in complete darkness. Got all these digging hell. Yeah, well done, Megan. You are a hell of a worker. party let's throw a party it is just too damn gloomy in this place make sure to keep up the spirits let's celebrate the harbinger tree and all the nasty fruit that it will give us a group of travelers from the angsa union extreme breakers huh? what is her problem it's not that bad go eat fool well i mean you do have quite a lot of problems <laughs> But, uh, that is your own dumbass problem, holding on to this silly ideology. 
It is just so out of control. Animal filth, though? Oh, because Tustmaster 2, it is not assigned. The no filth? I think it's just the, the zone. The no filth zone. Aha! Uh -huh. It just really wanted to be in this square right there. <laughs> Very important to Tustmaster 2 to get in this area right there. That little bit needed to traverse it. Very important to the elephant. He's got to get acquainted to its environment. All right, filthy heathen. You'll be okay. Stop being a big fat whiner. You're such a pussy. You're such a garbage creature. Slowly everything is being uh, hauled to the new area. Why is this being dug out? I do not know. Exotic goods trade. Oh, sweet. Sweet deal, but I don't have an orbital thingy because I have no power over here. Uh, b -b 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 power. I really hate to bring over a giant conduit. But this is what needs to happen if I want to be able to trade a damn thing. Where's even Blargo? He is constructing stuff. How about you go out there and you work on this power conduit? What happened here? Oh, because I finally dug out. I need to make sure that these floors are properly expanded. Otherwise, they get real mad. You're a builder, aren't you? Yes, you are. Ragman loves to build. Uh, get you those done. He did build some conduits. Filthy heathen is so pathetic. Pisses me off. Stop hauling wood to nonsense. I want you to build this power conduit. Do it. Prioritize the crap out of that. And just one more. New soundtrack that is so nice to hear after like two DLCs without it. It is super duper nice. To get new music. Even though it's supposed to be like a lot gloomier because of the atmosphere of the anomaly. I'm digging it though. Very cool. Very cool. Where are you going? Just building some wooden tables. Just getting everybody uh, a nice, beautiful place to call home. I don't know if I want to... And the music is a little loud though, isn't it? Uh, options... Audio. Hopefully it's not drowning out the freaking video game. I, I enjoy... Oh, Masterwork. Ooh. I enjoy loud music while I'm playing, but I bet, you know, it's not doing any service to the viewing experience if you cannot understand what the hell I'm saying. R really, Ragman? You built one tile and then you were just done? Probably because T-Rose was like, no, that is my tile to pave. You cannot touch it. All right, there you go. No more disrespect of the Cybernaw. That was a, a problem. How about... Oh, that's right. That's right. We came in with a whole bunch of stuff. Have a legendary Hellcat rifle. Who was going to wield that? I completely forget that. I think we just wanted it for Banana, right? He's just wielding a good assault rifle. Lego my Mego. Just leave that there. Banana, you are the chosen one. To equip this legendary rifle. Where are you? Okay, you're, you're just dealing with animals. And this good assault rifle will go to, I don't know, Erica Dawson or maybe the Grave Digger one. Of the, our best uh, shooter, I guess. Certainly, we can use... Why are you wearing... Why aren't you using right now? Heavy SMG, alright. Just equip the assault rifle, whatever. You're available. You still have an infection, right? You'll be fine. Uh, the dog people, they recover from infections so quickly. Very nice. You know what? You know what? Grab everybody except actually fill the heathen as well because if she breaks, I want everybody to be around being able to punch her real good. Everybody drafted. We're opening up. One everything here. I don't have a single iota 
of concern. We have an army of the ages. These people are lethal. Each and every one of them. I hate the gut worms and the muscle parasites. <laughs> They're so upsetting. So freaking upsetting. Oh, there's no more digging to scheduled before this. Before anything else happens. Let me quickly build that out. And um, get some more digging scheduled. I want a giant freezer. Let's just carve out this whole area right here. We'll make it a room of some sort. And also the rest of the rooms. This should be enough to house all of our default colonists. And that way our little digger right there, dedicated machine, shall get its rocks off. Meg is extremely eager to go up there and open this horrendous pit of despair. Wonder what awaits behind door number one. Are you a builder, Megan? You're absolutely not. No, you're a digger. That's right. Maybe I want to make her dig, but no, there is no way to dig around this area. It's only a matter of deconstructing. So if I were a cautious individual, I would deconstruct a place that is, you know, it's a good spot. And I am a cautious individual, so we're going to deconstruct that spot. And everybody's just going to wait around the corner right there. And if uh, something horrendous comes out, freaking centipedes, some kind of awful monster. I told you, I told you it was so good that we brought everybody along so we could punch Filthy Heathen in the head in case it got a weird idea in its head, such as going to vent her anger on her animals. Like, this is the absolute worst possible absolute worst possible break i would rather you try to murder a colonist than you going around trying to strike at my beautiful wildlife stop right there you criminal scum you violated my elephant excuse me okay it went down <laughs> that bar was filling and sour trunk would have just gone slaughtered slightly unrealistic how you know it's like really really what are what are you doing exactly to kill uh, an elephant in the span of three seconds are you ramming your fist down its throat and squeezing its heart until it explodes uh, kind of a, a complicated task to get an elephant dead in the span of three seconds but thankfully we were there to instantly put down the filthy heathen until she converts to the one true religion it is not to be trusted all right deconstruct this let's see what happens we have elephants we have people with clubs we are well equipped to deter any monstrosity what Ooh, i was like doing quite a few these guys are probably the most dangerous and then of course Whatever's in here is the real danger coming out of this. Uh, these guys shouldn't be too bad. And some glitter world medicine. I appreciate it. Okay, Blargo, stop with the eating. More with the fighting. Everybody, just wait behind the door. Uh, I'll run these animals were into all in the way, but, you know, I suppose we'll put up with it. Oh, yeah, get destroyed. We must kill this Tesseron immediately. I forgot that I had... Okay, I don't. I, I should have brought it, but thankfully I didn't. Because right now there will be an EMP grenade in the middle of this fray. And that will be bad. Thankfully, no, did not happen. Just punch them. Punch them all in the head. <laughs> this seems to be a, a non-issue. Very straightforward murder of the mechs holy crap you're actually shooting at me how dare you okay he's down but the most important part now is making sure we also got a psychic sooth pulser huh more important part is get it in here 
making sure these cryo uh, chambers do not contain massive threats. Let's spread the people out. Because sometimes these people are completely unpredictable. I don't know if everything's going to come out at once. Or it will just be uh, a couple. Whoever, I, as I open them, open that crypto, crypto sleep casket. See what we got. Is everybody going to come out or just one at a time? Everybody at once, everybody's dead. All right. <laughs> usually, usually, these <laughs> ancients ready to riddle me with bullets. But all I see is a bunch of naked people. Well, shit. <laughs> we do have some potential recruits. Maybe they're actually good. But this son of a bitch has a bad back. So already, you know, not terribly interested. It's freaking chemical interest. Body mother is nice. Because we are into that. But a 58-year-old with a bad back don't really care that you have excellent medical. I mean, you have good stats, but bad back, man, is so annoying. Look at that. 44% like the... Um, this makes it so they walk at like half speed. It's just idiotic. Let's see Diver, though. No health issues to be seen. Excellent fighter. Tough gun night owl. Hell yeah. I mean, he's incapable of a few things. Great fighter. A good warden. And he's just basically a good dude. He's a slave. For some reason, he was a slave. And now he'll continue to be a slave to my cause. All right, so I guess we'll just club Tex in the head. Or we can just capture him and eat him slowly, you know. The troll's choice. Do you want to die now? Do you want to be eaten uh, in piecemeal? Quite literally. We'll make pieces out of you and then make meals out of it. Either way, what are you doing? 11 hours? Rescue Diver. Uh, Megan, ju just club Tex in the head. <laughs> I, I just don't have the patience for this. And we can get that Psychic Pulsar. Open the Hermetic Crate. Crackly Baby, are you doing okay? You just got smacked a few times. And really, uh, we're fine. We can undraft everybody except the people that are now moving around. And you're opening the crate. See what we can find in here. A second Psychic Sooth Pulsar, which is just ass, right? A one-use Broadway Psychic Effector, the Psychic Pulse. And this is self-satisfying perceptual distortion. Give a temporary move boost to every guy in the region. You know what? Just activate it right now. We are not doing great with mood right now. Uh, there is a few other places where we're going to be using it. Volcanic Winter. I completely forgot about that. That's why... Our life is ass right now because we have the Grey Paul and the Volcanic Winter. So everything out there is just... Holy crap, you're a resilient son of a bitch, aren't you? Uh, Meg is just standing over you, just... Thunk, 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 just clubbing every part of you. And still, you were so damn resilient. Okay, looking pretty great. I'm forbid all this nonsense. There you are. We'll come pick those up. It is so dark. <laughs> the volcanic winter and the... You can, I can uh, yeah, just rescue that. Uh, why is this on the floor, though? That is kind of dumb. Banana. Hold that. Oh, that's when I punched <laughs> our friend in the head. I would like to deconstruct this. Ah, but, you know, it's not, it's not a priority. We can just leave that there, and eventually we'll get around to grabbing all that nonsense. Okay. What are you doing? You're tending to yourself with some medicine that you found on the floor. I'm okay with that. A good result. Not the greatest. I was really hoping for some ancient... Let me uh, deconstruct this, because... Somebody very, very wisely noted, hey, just put another caravan spot in the middle of the pen. Fool! And, uh, you know, make all the sense in the world. So, uh, I feel a little silly not to have thought about that myself. 
but you know. I can't think of everything. Major break risk scum filthy heathen. Oh, that's right. She she got put down by everybody. Actually, you know, she just snapped out of it. She was like, you know what? I'll be okay. Let me just eat this pemmican. No, don't hold that. You want to hold the components. Components are what matters. All right. So is it really like, no, okay. It is night. So it is dark right now, but hopefully it will become brighter once dawn happens. Very much hoping that because we're in the midst of darkness. This is just freaking miserable. Uh, that's right. We have an exotic goods trader out there. Blargo, I know that you are fast asleep. But I would like you... Actually, our best... Our best wardens. Hike. Negotiator. Let's get some good negotiating happen. Do you have something I'm interested in? Let's start there. Do you have... A telescope, mega screen, blah, blah, blah. A few sculptures. You do have gold. Beer. Stomach, heart, hand talon, healing and sensor. Where are the eyeballs? I am so annoyed <laughs> at the fact there are no eyeballs to be found in all of these damn stores. Let me put a little bit of thought into this nonsense. I'll be right back. It's so sad. I used to have so many riches. I am pathetically broke. I can't afford anything. I am getting this healing enhancer though. And whatever components they got, you know me. I'm components. Passing on the advanced components though because I just don't got the cash. This is good. This is good. We get a nice healing enhancer. And we brought a bionic stomach with uh, the shopping that we did. I don't know when it happened, but we had, do have a bionic stomach in storage. Of course, we don't have much of a medical facility right now. Starvation. Why is Ragman always starving? Probably because of the gut worms plus muscle parasites. It's super upsetting. Like, he cannot do anything. <laughs> Can you maybe get, get fed by somebody else? With no sleep and no food? He'll be fine. Don't worry about it. We really do need... It feels like... Uh, oh, excuse me. Why is Diver just on the floor? <laughs> Please. Please. Get him to the damn infirmary rescue. I don't know what happened there. I think I grabbed Hike or whoever it was. Made her do something else. And now Diver is just sitting. Make sure that this idiot gets rescued. Banana, why are you moving so slow, though? Because you have muscle parasites, like half my freaking colony. All right, quickly. Sorry, Blargo, but you must constantly work. Make sure to tend to Diver. Do not waste medicine, though. Our medicine situation is, is pretty bad. In fact, I'm glad that we planted a bunch. Now we can just use regular doctor care and prior to standing. There you are. Probably clean the hospital. That'll be nice. It's already clean. That's all good. Ah. The company has left. A hey, hike is building us our explosives storage. I made sure that all the mortar shells will be stored away from site still are revealed. A twisted creature has appeared in thin air. Okay. A blurry entity. Is it stalking my beautiful uh, mechs? What is your deal? Sight stealer. Emaciated and misshapen humanoids. Their arms end in sharp curled claws formed from bioferrite. Sight stealers are fragile, but use psychic influence to render themselves invisible until they get close to their victims. They are known to emit haunting screams as they gather on their terrible hunts. Interesting. Dark psychic invisibility. It's a uh, ring. Stock in my lifter. It's the problem here. Nobody's close. It's no one even close to being close. Sorry, trunk and murder thrust. Can you maybe 
maybe if I do this, draft Epping Damas, and then say, hey, release the animals, will they charge upon the site, Stealer? Hike, how far are you? Let me have you jump to murder this horrendous monster. By the way, do we have any new beds? No beds yet. Uh, Tiros, you are busy doing the cooking. Meg could go out there and club this entity to death. She's very hungry, though. Tiros, why, why you have to be like this? Here you are, organizing the freezer, doing your thing. Just made fun of Megan's brother's honesty. Like, your brother lied to me. He said he had 20 shekels in the bank. When I went to ask him for a loan, he would not give them to me. What a terrible, terrible piece of garbage your brother is. Anyway, where is this monster? It has disappeared. Oh, there it is. Yeah, stalking my beautiful lifter. How dare you? Major stupid. Do something about this. No? You don't want to do something about this? You are not interested in doing the fighting? Where's Hike? Go save my mechs, Hike. New research available, all right. Did the lifter kill it? Because that would be so pathetic. No, all right. What's this about? Your discovery of the site stealer has yielded new insights. You can now research the following anomaly projects. Proximity detector, I see. All right, I look forward to being able to detect these invisible pieces of trash. Major stupid, you're a major disappointment is what you are. My beautiful, beautiful thing. Hike, it's going to club this monster to death. It's going to be hilarious. Go, go, Hike. Hop, hop on away. Save my beautiful monster, I mean mech, from this awful treatment. Club it real good in the head. Whoo! <laughs> Let's just see how it does. There <laughs> just Hike is like, you piece of trash! <laughs> Absolutely destroyed. Well done, Hike. Well done. I can always count on you to be overzealous in the protection of our colony. I'm fortunate about it dying. Just haul it, I suppose. Can we I, I hope we're not eating this trash. Your colonies have here sight dealers shrieking in the distance. It's hard to tell where they are and how many. They might arrive immediately or days from now. How how wonderful. My beautiful lifter. You know what? Just leave that piece of trash in the ground. Just carry the the freaking um by the way we should un draft Nostra Evendamus. Carry the lifter to somewhere where we can fix it. That is very upsetting. Annoying as hell, in fact. Toastmaster, why are you out here? You're going to get eaten by freaking uh, sight stealers, apparently. Okay, this is open up. I don't really like creating so many openings into our base. But, you know, this should be walled off eventually. Why is nobody roping? What? Okay, I better be ready for Megan to be uh, roasting her enemies whenever they appear. Let's expand this home area, get that properly cleaned. That's going to be my freezer for toxic garbage. Uh, I definitely need to construct additional pylons. Let me construct additional pylons over here. Or maybe we want to make this area over here, make this spot into our containment unit i don't see why not i feel like that's a decent place to put them so eventually it'll happen once all this trash gets hauled over there all my shelves get constructed it's taking forever though mm. there's something else i wanted to do More compacted machinery. It's just all over the place. So many components in this place. This is uh, out of control. Diver, how are you? How are you doing? He'll be fine. We need to watch him though. Eventually, he'll be healed. And if he doesn't want to join, we'll have a amicable conversation. Show him the error of his ways. Make certain that this good fellow is persuaded that perhaps staying and working for the betterment of our colony is the best 
the best course of action. Tiros, my apologies. I sent you out there. You're just standing like an idiot. Completely forgot that I had you drafted. Uh, filthy Heathen, you really should be treated as well. This is just outrageous that you are not being treated for your terrible wounds. Feels like construction. It's taking forever. Hey, conversion. Grave Digger tried to convert. Can she just do her own religion? We now have another cult of the Blargonized convert. I was trying to convert you. All right. Recruit the a your ass. Because you are just a good person. Break soul. How are you doing? Break soul. Are you going back into the colony? You're getting there. We are. Slowly. What? What? Okay. Boomalope is starting to run away because nobody's roping these people. Maybe I just don't have anybody to handle? Yeah, Banana's supposed to do it. He's the guy. What are you doing, Banana? Perhaps you are stupid? Is that what's going on? You are a, a complete moron? Just rope the Boomalopes! Idiot! Why is it green outside? Why is it 40 minutes already? <laughs> I just... I want to keep playing the video game. You need rest. Now how about instead... I can't... Uh, what's going on there? Rope the boomalope. Rope the boomalope. You can take a nap later. For now, rope these damn boomalopes. Hike, what are you up to? You're sleeping, huh? In your your disgusting shack. Tiros, why are you even building? You have seven construction. You shouldn't be building beds. Building beds is for big boy stuff. It's, it's uh, important constructions. But this can now be Hike's bedroom. There you go. Mm. Go trade. Where is the idiot with the trading? Ghost. What you got? Trash? Is trash what you got? Absolute garbage? Yes, it is. I mean, six medicines. Actually pretty decent. And I'll take your three components. Thank you very much. Get, a, uh, get rid of these incendiary cells. All they do is exploding your storage and make you sad when that happens. That is the entire purpose of incendiary shells. And other than that, we're good. That's pretty good for some nasty ass dumbass visitors. Appreciate the interaction. Making a repair needle. Uh huh, uh huh. Why is just always sleeping? This is just not right. Look at how happy he is, though. Feels great. Filthy heathen. <laughs> so, so many. So much. Such a bad time. He's not wandering away anymore. Why are you telling me he's wandering away when it's literally hitched to the spot? Oh yeah, give me more of that chem fuel. It's so nice to not have to worry about stupid ass uh, solar panels and all that stuff. It's just so infuriating. Uh, eventually we're gonna. Just uh, put some sandstone walls right there. Nice. Beautiful. <laughs> Expand that zone to the outside. They are. There you are. Get rid of this one. Shrink that. No, not shrink, but delete. Eventually, all this shall be processed. We need to use up all of this freaking sandstone. Forty three minutes. I gotta stop. I gotta stop the video game playing. We'll uh, resume in the next episode. We did put this in the home zone right we did not that is why everything is absolutely disgusting and filthy uh, something that I did not realize until very very recently there's now hidden conduits they are more expensive take longer to build but you can put them in the middle and they will they are not an eyesore it is very nice to have that new option do I really care that much when the entire base is just hideous? Not really. Hike has created a masterwork wooden bed. You know what? You know what, Hike? You made it. You get to keep it. There you go. Masterwork bed for Hike. Get extra sleeping. And you are going to get that. There you are. Wonderful. Anyway, you're getting distracted. 
more anomalies pissing me off a very active episode lots of stuff murder mayhem happening looking forward to whatever comes next those freaking disgusting sight stealers are in the horizon and we'll just club them to them real really good 